fairies are the charm. If you are here because you are no fairies, you are in the right place, my friends. Hope you don't. I want to believe that we can all have more freedom, it can be if you go out in nature. Look for your sacred place, it can be the tree of your childhood, where you spent happy times. I know it will be hard for some city boys and girls to accept, but you can find your peace by hugging a tree. You can connect with your tree by sitting next to it and talking to it without expectations. If the tree wants to and has something to say to you, be carefree and playful like a child. My forest always sends me a telepathic message when I come home, so that I can come to her kingdom whenever I want. That's comforting to know. dreaming? Well, all God's children dream. Let my voice take you deeper, be without expectations, just fall asleep. As the cobwebs slowly descend on your sleeping eyelashes, be gentle my child, fairies are around you, don't try to see them with your eyes, because they are beings of light. There is no veil that divides our two worlds, nor is there a gender that marks us. The plants laugh in the light that the fairies bathe them in, 
while they dance like the rays of the sun on their petals and help them to grow. You heard that right. Flowers believe in fairies, so how mature and wise you need to believe in them. This is a sacred fairy circle. It is enough to draw this magic circle with a dry twig to protect yourself from darkness. Remember, traveler, that you're light. You just have to let go of everything from the body and mind in order to be free from fear. Be, be playful and laugh and that will help the fairies see you as children. practice or good or be Sorry, no English. Sorry, little camera shy. Sorry. I like to think about color. As children, you must get dirty if you get start enjoy it. In a fleeting moment, she slipped from view, lost in a glance, but found in words anew. Her essence captured in lines so sweet, in poetry's embrace, our souls meet. Through stanzas and verses, her beauty unfolds, in the rhythm of words, her story told. Each syllable a whisper of her grace, in the poet's heart, she finds her place. Though she may vanish in a passing gaze, in poetry's realm, her presence stays. A timeless tribute to her fleeting glance, in the poet's pen, she finds her dance. So let her live on in these lines of verse. A memory preserved, a blessing to rehearse. Lost in a glance, but found in poetry's embrace, her spirit lingers in this sacred space. Nature, with its vast and intricate beauty, has long been a muse for artists seeking to capture its essence on canvas. The way the sunlight filters through the leaves of a tree, casting dappled shadows on the forest floor. The way a mountain range stretches majestically across the horizon, its peaks kissed by the rosy hues of a setting sun. The way a field of wildflowers dances in the breeze, each petal a vibrant splash of color against the backdrop of green. Painting nature is not just about replicating what we see with our eyes, but about capturing the emotions it evokes within us. It is about distilling the essence of a moment, the tranquility of a quiet forest, the awe-inspiring power of a thunderstorm, the delicate beauty of a blooming flower, onto a canvas for all to see and feel. In each brush stroke, in each color choice, the artist seeks to convey the magic of nature, its harmony, its chaos, its resilience, its fragility. Through painting, we can immerse ourselves in the beauty of the natural world, finding solace, inspiration, and a deep connection to something greater than ourselves. Nature, in all its forms, is a masterpiece waiting to be painted, a canvas waiting to be filled with the wonders of the world around us.
that successful artist, when a circle of friends who love your work, continue to do 